Hey y'all, happy Saturday. So today I am going to be sharing with you guys what I'm doing um, on a Saturday. So it's going to be like a vlog um, style video and I'm going to be showing you guys what I eat. So this morning I'm going to Palafox Market, which is a local market. It's not so much a big like produce farmer's market kind of thing. There's a, like a lot of art vendors, jewelry makers, that kind of thing there. Um, so I'm going to be making some protein shakes for my husband and myself before I go. And this video is sponsored by Teamy. They have sent me some things to try. Um, so I wanted to share those with you guys today. So I'm going to be using the Teamy Wellness Protein. And this is made with organic protein. It is vegan. So I have a discount code that Teamy has so kindly gifted me. I'm gonna go ahead and pop it on the screen right here. So if you guys wanna use that at checkout, you will get 20% off or 15% off. There are some minimums there. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop that on the screen. Um, this is in the smooth vanilla flavor. They have three different flavors of this. And my first thought when I opened this, and my, I had my husband smell it too, it smells very sweet, kind of like desserty. A lot of plant-based proteins just kind of smell off to me. I don't know. So we're going to make two different uh, flavored smoothies this morning. For me, I'm going to do a blueberry matcha smoothie, which I think will be really good. And then for my husband, we're going to do a peanut butter banana smoothie. So we're going to make mine first. So I'm just going to use one scoop of the protein powder. This has 17 grams of protein. So this should keep me nice and full while I'm at the market. I'm gonna use, this is like a matcha packet from Trader Joe's. I usually use ceremonial gray, but I'm out. So I'm gonna use one whole packet of matcha and you're like, you're not heating it first and blending it and all that. Nah, we're not doing that. We're just pouring it all in this high speed blender. I'm gonna use some frozen blueberries. That's probably a lot compared to how much matcha I have, but that's okay. And then I'm just gonna use some unsweetened uh, soy milk. This is West Soy. And I'm gonna start with about probably like a cup and a half and I'm gonna go ahead and blend this up. Mm. That's really good, very blueberry. You could also do like half a scoop of the protein powder if you don't want it to be too strong. But I like the vanilla flavor. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's make my husband's. Okay, so for my husband's, we are going to be using a little bit of ice. This is all the ice I had. So that's what he's getting. And he's sitting right behind the camera, by the way. This is a big banana. Holy cow. But I'm going to add in half a banana. Cause that's a big banana. We're gonna use a full scoop. I think it's gonna be really good with the peanut butter. I can't taste it to let you guys know. So he's going to share his thoughts with us. This is just no stir natural peanut butter. And I, he loves peanut butter. So I'm gonna add a good scoop, probably like a third of a cup. I'm gonna let him lick the spoon. Okay, and then for his, we've got this sweetened almond milk that we need to use up. So I'm just gonna pour the rest of that in and then I'll add the rest with some soy milk. He likes things sweeter than I do. So this is just plain like baking cocoa powder. I'm gonna add it all. Cheers. I taste the banana more than I thought I would. Really? That's delicious, though. You like the protein? Mm-hmm. I, 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 like, I can taste what, so, we mentioned that the protein has, like, that vanilla sweet smell. Yeah. Like, you can taste it. You can that. taste it. And it, it's very rare to find the protein powder that actually tastes what it smells like. I want to make a, um, coffee one with, like, my instant coffee stuff. Yeah. Maybe some chocolate, like a mocha. Like like an iced coffee kind of situation? Mm-hmm. I can get behind that. I'm also thinking about making some cookies with this, like protein cookie bowls or something. Like a breakfast bar. Yeah. So, anyway. So, in a couple weeks, stay tuned. I'm going to make another recipe with this. But my husband seems happy. He didn't talk for a bit. So, 
We're gonna go drink these and then I'm gonna go to the market and I'll see you guys at the market. Bye. this morning um you'll see a clip of i had to go to the tire place because my tire was almost flat so they fixed that and then i went to the market at the market i just got a couple of things and i'm going to also um put some clips in here that you'll see um, that you should have already seen and i've listed down below the makers too i got their cards so i've got their information um that should be in the description box below so let me show you what I got in the market, just a couple of things. Uh, first, I got this like really big mug. Um, I just really like the colors in it and I was looking for a handmade mug, but my requirement for a mug is that I have to be able to like fit my fingers in it because I don't like to hold a mug like this. It's just not what I like. I like to put some, some fingers through it. So this fits three fingers. So, and yeah, it's handmade. Look artist, he was throwing clay while we were there on the wheel. So, I love this guy. And then I got two pair of earrings. I went for one, ended up with two. The one I went for is the one I have on and these are Opal Monarchs. And these are um, all clay earrings. That's what I've been wearing is this Crafted Makery collection. Thanks Frodo. Um, and it's like kind of sparkly. It's covered in resin is this next pair. I have a bunch of her earrings you will have seen on my stories if you follow me on Instagram from a couple weeks ago. Then I went to this place called Alyssa's and they were having their five and down weekend, which is where the booths, the vendors there, they um, mark a, a lot of things for five and 10 cent. Obviously not like super, super fancy stuff. Usually somebody did find a Cricut machine though for 10 cent that was like a hidden gem marked. So they do that sometimes too. But five and down is usually just kind of smaller stuff. So I went in and I saw this pair of brass candle holders that are really, like I'm going to, I saw this pair of brass candle holders that I really liked, but they were gonna be $10 for the pair. I went a couple aisles over, a few booths down, and I found two pair and they were 10 cent per thing. So this is the first pair of brass candle holders. These are kind of heavy. And they're for the little tapered candles. And that was 10 cent each. And then these ones, how cute are these little, I'm trying to get focus, little guys. Anyway, 10 cent each, so 40 cent total, as opposed to $10. And then I found this little bitty amber glass for five cent, and I thought this would be a cute bud base, um, you know, just to put, or while I'm propagating on one of my longer plants, I could pop it in here. And then at one of the pottery vendors, um, the guy had this five cent little dish. And if you've watched any of my cooking videos, I like to have um, small dishes for my spices. And I figured like this would be the perfect one. So got that. And then I found this burlap, I don't know, placemat and napkin, I guess. Um, I use this for food photography is what I use a lot of this kind of stuff for. And I was on the hunt for a burlap and I found this for five cent. And then I think for 10 cent, um, is the Spark Joy book by Marie Kondo, and I had been wanting to read this, and I haven't, so here it is. Um, 
So that's everything I got besides a Starbucks and some food. I had a wrap for lunch, you'll see that. In case you're curious what this is, it is a decaf iced latte with soy milk and two pumps of brown sugar syrup. Mm -hmm. Quite delicious. So, my husband just got home. I just got a bill in the mail. Fun stuff. I need to wash a little laundry. <laughs> Okay, so I'm realizing I never um, ended this video. So for dinner, we ended up eating onion rings and fries from a fast food place. Uh, not the best, but hope you enjoyed this kind of really simple day in my life on a Saturday. Um, go ahead and subscribe and don't forget to turn on bell notifications so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye.